Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Barbie is the most famous doll in the whole planet. Who doesn't know her? Her real name is Barbara Millicent Roberts, and her first introduction to the public took place on March 9, 1959. She was created by Ruth Handler, co-founder of the toy company Mattel, along with her husband Elliot Handler. In the 50s, Ruth realized her daughter would rather play with dolls that looked like adults, more than with childish ones. Her kid would spend hours and hours dressing and undressing cutout dolls. At that time, the vast majority of dolls out in the market had the physical appearance of children. When she realized about the idea of business she had in mind, she thought it would be a good idea to create a doll that looked like a young woman. However, this idea didn't convince her business partner and husband. During a trip around Europe, they discovered a popular Dutch doll called Lily. It was a doll inspired by cartoons for adults. Mattel bought the rights for Lily, they stopped its production and they started making Ruth's doll. They wanted to offer girls a different doll, adapting to the social changes that women were starting to experiment and with which young girls could feel identified. The name they chose was Barbie, in honor to Barbara, the handler's daughter. After her first appearance at the Toy Fair, the market's response was amazing. Even the company had some initial problems to be able to provide all the dolls they were asked for. The first Barbie ever had a blonde hairdo, very fashionable, with a zipper-printed swimsuit. Barbie was not alone in the universe for long. Throughout the years, some more characters have been added to her life. Apart from plenty of friends, she also has some younger sisters. The most famous ones are Kelly, Chelsea and Stacy, all between 10 and 13 years old, along with the 16-year-old Skipper. Also, since 1961, Ken is right by her side, her eternal boyfriend. The masculine version of Barbie was named after Kenneth, the handler's son. And even though Barbie and Ken officially broke up on February 14, 2004, they remained good friends, and seven years later, on February 14, 2011, they got back together. Since her first date as a teenager model, Barbie has had plenty of different jobs. She's been a dentist, a gymnast, a teacher, a dancer, a photographer, a vet, a doctor, a singer, an astronaut, a flight attendant, a president, a pilot. Yes, she has a pilot license and she can fly commercial aircraft. She loves animals and she's had more than 40 pets. Dogs, horses, ponies, cats, parrots. Behind every Barbie, there is a group of 500 specialists that work at the Mattel Research and Development Center in Los Angeles. Technology and design are vital for its manufacturing process, where they combine the most up-to-date techniques with traditional methods. The manufacturing process of a Barbie is not easy. Her body is shaped by the plastic injection system while her face is hand-painted and her hair is set with a sewing machine. Once the head is fixed to the body, it is time for the haircut and hairdo. Her dresses are also sewed by hand. The Mattel designers visit the most important catwalks of the world to keep up with every season's collection. Even though Barbie's color is pink, Pantone 219C to be more precise, propriety of the company with exploitation rights, she has dressed clothes of every kind and color, always high fashion. Some of the most important designers in the world, such as Christian Dior, Chanel, Versace, Carolina Herrera or Giorgio Armani, have designed for Barbie. In 2009, she celebrated her 50th anniversary in style with a fashion show during the New York Fashion Week. Just as society, Barbie's image has been evolving throughout the years. Back in the beginning, she had unreal measurements and her face was serious and sophisticated. She's been gaining mobility and changes in her body to adapt to the new times. Her waist is wider now, her breasts are smaller, and she's been adopting a more natural and relaxed aspect. With the idea of having more little girls feeling identified with a doll, during 2016, Mattel introduced a new collection that stirred half world up. With more realistic measurements and sizes, fashionista Barbies appeared, including different body types, skin colors, eye colors, and hairdos. Barbie is the most sold doll in history, and Mattel is placed among the 20 more valued brands in the world, being the first one inside the world of toys. It's commercialized in more than 140 countries, and the estimation is that two Barbies are sold every minute. 
Collecting toys is a very popular hobby, and collecting Barbies in particular is one of the most common ones. Every year, more than 100 different models of Barbies are created, including her family and friends. There are also a lot of special editions with exorbitant prices. The tiny versions of the first Barbies, the ones dressed by famous designers, and the ones representing different encounters and eras are the most sought after. With more than 50 years of history, Barbie has achieved goals almost impossible to believe for a doll. She traveled in a time capsule, she has a portrait by Andy Warhol, she's been the ambassador of several NGOs, and she has even traveled to space. She's a total celebrity, she's had her own TV program, she's the protagonist of several cartoon series, video games and movies, and she has also appeared as a special guest in movies such as Toy Story 2 and 3 along with Ken. She has her own profile in social networks, and in the last years, she's become a YouTuber with her own channel where she uploads video blogs and tutorials. Barbie is not only a doll, she's a fashion and social icon. Her popularity has never stopped growing, and it seems like the Barbie obsession has no end. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.